at Sugawa Nursery in Woodland, Washington with Brian Sugawa. And Brian, you have a boatload of fragrant plants here to show us today. There is a wide selection. You know, we, what we did, we did some early, some mid, and then some late season flowers for the fragrance. Wonderful. So we have some winter blooming here. Starting off right here, January. I mean, what do you think when you look outside the window besides a dreary winter day? <laughs> We, witch hazels, one right, of our favorites. Nice. It's kind of, you know, everybody asks for it after the fact, but you want to try to think of these right around January, December. They're doing their thing right about then, weather permitting. They right. come in orange, bronze, a whole, and Beautiful. they're fragrance. Yeah. Really nice fragrance. And kind probably, of a spicy fragrance, yeah, I guess. And yeah. the number one, I think Daphne, and you have so many Daphnes here. There, there's more and more. Every, every year they keep coming out with more. But one thing I wanted to mention here, this is one variety called Majima. Uh, you can see kind of the yellowish against the creamy kind of a green against the a brighter yellow, I guess you Beautiful. call it. But it has the same Daphne fragrance. Very nice. And then um, look at these two. Those are really beautiful too. Yeah, against each other, really nice. But this is Osmanthus. What I like about it, dark green foliage. And then when it first comes out, bright white. So you get this real nice uh, contrast, a lot like the Star Coke and not much to show now. But a lot of these, when they bloom, the fragrance will pretty much, you'll want to know where what, what it is booming. Right, we'll put one it. in here and they, they start searching for it. And the Mahonia, which is a native, is gorgeous. Oh yeah, that's an all-time favorite. This is the compact variety. Um, does really well for fragrance. You and know, so now we're lost. moving into maybe early spring. So right? maybe a couple favorites here. Um, well, we would, you know, the lilacs are going to be coming in. There's yeah, just, okay. I mean, everything starts coming in pretty soon. But this is kind of like your March, late March, April stuff. The Daphne, some Another of the, this Daphne, is Carol sure. Mackey's. We have um, the spicy, uh, Korean spice. spice by Burnham. Mm -hmm. This is the Korean spice by Burnham. Beautiful. Very nice. I mean, you can smell it just sitting here. We, they have a jasmine. This one is just pretty much a novelty. It doesn't really grow outdoors, the pink one. Yeah, we saw it as a house plant. It's kind of, yeah, so also but, it's kind of like a color spot. Right. If it lives, it lives. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And so, but a beautiful one to have for that time. Everybody asks for it. So you pretty much have to have the jasmines. Definitely. And, uh, so, but it's really nice. But you can go on to the evergreen jasmine. That's wonderful because it starts blooming in late spring. That's right. This one will do a little, it does a little better for our area. It is an evergreen foliage one. So when it's elevated, some of the harsh winter winds need to be protected. But it's pretty tough. You know, I, I've done pretty good with uh, in protected areas, grow it in container. You can move it in and out, you know, protect it from those that is certain nice. situations. And then um, a wax myrtle, that's nice because you could even make it as a hedge, but it has beautiful flowers too. The, the white cone flower against the dark green leaves pretty much is uh, a good show right there. But yes, the, it does have that fragrance like all of them. We also have another, another lower Daphne, lower Daphne <laughs> rock Daphne. Beautiful. Again, a really nice fragrance, but you know, the attractive pink flower is something that most other different. Daphne's don't offer, yeah. yeah. And what about gardenias? Because I think they're really working on def um, gardenias right. they have, hardy gardenias. Hardy gardenias. Um, again, evergreen shrub, uh, I to me, for here in my area, Southwest Washington, we like to try to protect these. You know, this winter would have been a good test, but you know, they're, they're pretty <laughs> much being tested, don't you think? Yeah. Sure. So um, I'm finding them being pretty true. Definitely. Again, grow it in a container when you don't want to take a chance. Right. But um, very, I mean, what can be the gardenias fragrance? Right. And then we're moving into late spring, early summer. So you have roses, which right. would be wonderful. To All have. time favorite for roses. Um, I don't know what variety they brought us here, but well, fragrant cloud, of course. Very nice. And they all have their different fragrances. That's a whole different We can have a whole program yeah, on roses. Exactly right. And then in summer, we have honeysuckle. That would be great. There's, I don't know how many different honeysuckles there are, mm -hmm. but obviously, you know, a lot of them are fragrant. Some of them aren't, but a lot of them are going to be like, what, butterfly or oh, hummingbird, hummingbirds. Yeah, yeah. hummingbird attractants. And Which then, is, uh, you know, people becoming more and more aware of uh, oh, pollinators. Yeah, 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 definitely. And then you have the bloomerang lilac. So it bloomed in the spring and then it's going to bloom later in the summer, which it is, is something fun. These right. Are, these I times. think they call, I don't know if it's a continual bloom or just a two season bloom, but the, the, it does throw out some sporadic blooms after that is what's nice about it. Mm -hmm. uh, really delicate little small. Pretty. Yeah. With the lilac fragrance on there. And then all kinds of annuals, of course. Yes. For summer. There's a whole uh, clause, but 
Dianthus, you know, that has to be one of the all-time favorites, you know, for that sure. what that nice fragrance of the Dianthus. And yeah, so, well, heliotrope, you know, oh, the man. purple flower, there's, that's probably a good, that's a bee attractor, I know mm -hmm. that, the and bees love it, yes. Definitely. And we have to talk about butterfly bush, we're gonna talk about butterflies, so right. that's one of the new butterfly bushes. The new butterfly bushes. Um, I believe we're looking at three, three to four foot tall, mm -hmm. but um, the fragrance is, and again, it's gonna be the, hummingbirds and the butterflies attractor right but it comes in the pinks and the purples and you know we these are the sterile flowered ones so they don't you don't have to worry right yeah so they're coming out with all these new named ones yeah although what most nurseries so you can well as you can see we have more that we didn't even touch on so you can come out to Sugawa nursery talk to Brian and the staff and really have so many months of fragrance it just doesn't have to be in the springtime Brian thanks so much thanks Judy